What's good YouTube, it's your boy Turtle here, today with my revamped dual blader. So, today I'm going to be showing you guys all the revamped dual blade skills, and just a whole bunch of dual blade gameplay in general, so you guys get to know what this little revamp is like. So first off, I gotta put all my skills back in, which isn't gonna be the funnest thing. Oh, oh my god, yes, we get double flash jump now. Is it still in space? Look. Oh my god, double flash jump! This is so awesome. Can't really use it here though, but it's nice. Okay, so now we're gonna put in sidestep. And Dark Sight. Don't need Bandit Slash, because that's just not that useful. Guitar Mastery, definitely. Self Haste, definitely. And Tornado Spin, okay. Uh, Slash Storm, yes. Channel Karma. Booster. Physical Training. Oop. Slash Storm. Don't need Fatal Blow. And let's see here. Flying Assaulter. Flashbang, I think that got buffed, so I'm going to put stuff in it. Venom, yes. And here, Bloody Storm. Blade Ascension, I'm not sure how much we put in that. Mirror Image, Advanced Dark Sight, Life Drain, Enveloping Darkness, Shadow Melds, very nice skill. Blade Ascension, okay, we maxed that. I guess we can max Chains of Hell. I guess we can max everything now. That's pretty cool, but. I'm not gonna do that yet. Blade Fury got its animation changed. Let me see if it's still on my key. Yeah, yeah, this looks really nice. I'm very happy with this. Look at this, look at this. This is beautiful. Phantom Blow. I'm pretty sure that got a new animation too, and it got faster. Yep, new animation. It looks like it has a bit wider range. I'm not sure if that's just me, but it definitely has new animation, and I think it got faster. Final Cut, of course. Sudden Raid, of course. Maple Warrior. Hero's Will, Mirrored Target, Thorns, Sharpness, Toxic Venom, Katara Expert, and we have extra skill points. And now the Hyper Skills. Okay, Hyper. Ooh. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're going to put points into Hyper Luck, Hyper Crit, uh, what else do we have here? Hyper Health. And let me check my stats to see what else I should put it in. Okay, I have max of all this stuff, so I don't need hyper defenses. So, I guess hyper strength, hyper dex, and... Wait, do I have max speed unbuffed? No, I'll just use haste. And I'll just put one in... Hyper mana. For passives... Okay, we got new passives, that's nice. Phantom blow, we put them all in phantom blow, of course. Phantom Blow, extra hit, very nice skill. Blade Fury, Hypers. Okay, I'm gonna put one in Damage, and in Guard Break. I don't need two extra hits with Blade Fury, I mean two extra like mob hits. Oh, we only get five, never mind, I was gonna put something in uh, Bloody Storm, but Blade Fury is better. And these we just put everything in, because we have three. Okay! So now, I'm gonna put all my skills on my keys, and then I'm gonna go show you these skills off at like snails or something. And Anthropology says, hi YouTube. Hello YouTube! Okay, be right back. Alright, so we're back in the hill north of Henesis, and we're about to slaughter some innocent orange mushrooms. Alright, so first I'm gonna show you that new skill, Blade Ascension. Blade Ascension, okay, and we do that there. And it's really nice, you could actually use this skill. It sort of reminds me of Shadower's old skill, Assaulter, just a little bit, because you like move up when you use it. And it can be used to easily get onto other platforms. Well, not so easily, but it's nice. Like, you could combo it there and do that, although I kind of failed because I'm new to the skill. You do that, you could also use our Flying Assaulter right out of it. it combos pretty well. You could lift the monsters up in the air and then hit them with Flying Assaulter. These mobs don't have that much HP, so I can't really show that off here. But trust me, it works. Now we have revamped Phantom Blow, which looks beautiful. Absolutely beautiful destroying these orange mushies. And Blade Fury, which has such more range. It's like, it hits super wide now. And it actually does pretty good damage with the 20% extra more damage. Because that actually really makes a difference. It's like more like stronger compared to the other skills now. And it's going to be very nice at bosses that are like widespread. Like Horntail or Zakum. That's going to be nice. 
So I'm very happy with this revamp. All right, guys, for the next part of the video, I'm just gonna be doing the Mulong Dojo to show you how bossing on a dual blade is like after the revamp. And I'm not gonna be doing any commentary over that so you guys can just enjoy the video. So thank you guys for watching this video. And if you did, remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome MapleStory content like this. All right, have a nice day.